जबर सर को देखना सर का so engrossed with this small little instrument that is taking so much of time of our life that as i was sitting here at the simply pleasures at arturo's in varka i just got engrossed in this mobile and why i am talking about the mobile and engrossment is because i have come here to bring you to a museum that is all done on the theme of what is there on this mobile photography music typing why am i telling you all all this why don't we go around and see this place santome museum at varka right by the side of the road let's not waste time i have already wasted the time of my crew so Let's go and see the Santome Museum. Let me gear up for this. Don't forget to carry this small little thing because it helps you to create memories. And a nice place over here after you see the things you can come down and refresh yourself. And I'm now going to go to see the museum. Come on. And to tell you exactly what i am talking about this smartphone i have brought you to the saint thomas museum which was inaugurated by the vicar general archdiocese of goa and daman reverend father jose remedios fernandez and it is made by thomas antonio da costa whose main theme he doesn't say that it is his own work but he says that it is a work of god through his hands such beautiful things and he is this man thomas antonio de costa is such a passionate man he is actually a electro techno engineer in the shipping line and i will show you exactly what that passion has made him bring over here when he started this museum called as the saint thomas museum on 19th of january 2014 that is 4 years back so now let us start our journey into seeing what is this museum about no what is this museum about based on this but before we go inside let me show you something that will amaze you take a walk like i told you this man is amazingly passionate he is on the on the sea and what he has brought for you is right there in his garden and that is this anchor now this anchor i was really shocked because this is called as the aspi and this particular uh anchor is made by the same company like the titanic ship the very company that made the titanic ship has made this particular anchor which you must see it's quite tall very heavy it is about 3.3 tons that is 3300 kilos and next to this tall anchor there is something that is really amazing and that is a coconut tree i am not talking about that tall coconut tree where you get coconuts but ladies and gentlemen that coconut tree that you see over there planted in a vase is 38 years old it is only this big but here you see a coconut tree how bad it must be feeling when it is here in goa next to so all coconut trees over there see 
I am as tall as this coconut tree. But you want to see what the actual coconut tree is all about? See the amazing effects created by my cameraman. I am going to leave you to him. It's not only the coconut tree. This man, Mr. Thomas Antonio de Costa, who has put up this museum called as San Tome Museum, actually is very, very passionate about exotic plants. And yes, make an attempt to put these plants wherever you are. Here you have the coriander plant. And we'll just pan and show you what are the exotic plants that he has over here. Ladies and gentlemen, in your homes, you will have a lot of this type of things called as the rogado or the one which was used for grinding. Please protect them because that is our heritage. But I wanted to pass on another message to you. Heritage is a lot of walking, good exercise. Look at me, I am fit and trim. That's what I think. But if you don't exercise, you become like this. Can you see this tree? If you want to become like this tree, please visit the different places in Goa, the heritage sites. There are 14 museums in Goa. Today we are going to take you into one museum. From here, you will be able to meet the owner of this place and we will go through and show you what this museum is related to the smartphone and remember one thing exercise you have an option this or this left up to you so let us now go and meet the creator and the curator of this museum called as the Santome Museum Mr. Thomas Antonio Costa welcome Sanjeev Bab thank you so much Thomas Bab this is the man who has put in a huge museum all on his own and with the theme, the smartphone. Follow me. something about a bouncer. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we have got this co uh, concept in Goa now. It's a prestige thing. Today you have a small party, you have got bouncers outside. And what uh, Mr. Thomas told me was he had a bouncer. So you have a bouncer. Yes, we have a bouncer is this one. You see his muscles and all. Actually, his, uh, this one belongs to my father-in-law. He's based in Alto Gimaraj in okay. Panaji. So you basically don't believe in actual violence but just graphic violence who is this fellow here we have this armor it's very old it's a sword fighting armor okay earlier there was no guns and all they used to fight with the swords and this was our armor okay and actually this one is used for the tournament hmm. like you can see here he rides on a horse we are on war path war path to see saint Tommy museum let's proceed you know in goa there is something that we have totally forgotten about. We had some of the best wood craftsmen, artisans, carpenters. And as we were walking up, Mr. Thomas showed me something which really amazed me. And that is this one. Mr. Thomas, what is this? You know, you know, the, we have the Kamara building in the old market. Yes, in, in Marino. Now, and many people, our NGOs and all, we are trying hard to get it back, to be okay. restored. 
This is the grill of that balcony of that building. This was the grill. Yeah, it was the of grill that balcony. of the balcony, and it had fallen down, and there was headlines on the papers. I specially went and collected this, and I have also given them an offer. If they are restoring that building, I will give this back to them because this Very is. Nice. It belongs to them. Yeah, this many hundred years old. Ladies and gentlemen, in Goa. We don't have Portuguese houses. We have got Indo-Portuguese houses. A fusion of the local architectural features and the European features. And one of the most fascinating features of that is this window with the shells. And these shells are called as Placuna Placenta or Mendi shells, which were found on the beaches at Siridam. But today, these are coming under the banned items. You cannot harvest this uh, when they are alive. If they are dead, if you find a shell, you are lucky. But this is the shell on which these windows were cut and made. This is called as Placuna Placenta. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, this museum brings in some of the best of people. And here we have met Mr. Anand Chatterjee. Good morning. Hello. Who is the general manager of Planet Hollywood Beach Resort at Utorda. Now, if he can find time to come here from his busy schedule, it's time that you find time to come here to see the changing times. So, Mr. Chatterjee, yes. uh, how has been your journey from Planet Hollywood to here? Well, um, I can tell you that um, I'm a big fan of uh, any museum in uh, Goa because um, I think um, we at the hotel also, we promote a lot of uh, uh, these, these areas. Goa is very famous for the beaches and, and many other activities, but they don't need to sell. They don't, they don't need to be sold anymore. So um, we found this treasure trove from a, uh, through a friend of mine, and then we became friends, and I come here often myself. Uh, it's a never-ending process. I have possibly come here several times, and uh, see, I'm still here again, because every time you come here, you see something new, and he's an encyclopedia of information. A uh, couple of hours is not good enough, you can actually spend a day at uh, this museum. And uh, any guest or every guest who has visited, who we have promoted, we have always recommended this place to uh, be visited. They've always gone extremely happy. And thanks to your knowledge, sir. Thank you and, very much. Uh, <laughs> it's been great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, Mr. Chatterjee, you said that wherever you go, you see the museums. Yes, absolutely. Uh, my viewers are spread all over the world. And uh, do you have a message for them when they come to Goa? what they should do vis-a-vis -vis museums? Well, um, uh, apart from this uh, place, there is another uh, place I can talk about, which is uh, the, you know, the, the Goan, um, which is run by the Indian Navy. It's an aviation, naval aviation museum. It's again a, a hidden place, but you get to see, it's the only aviation museum possibly in Asia. And uh, it's a wonderful place to be in. One should go to, uh, there are various others. Uh, there is a government run museum, which is there in, in Panjim as well. Again, a great place. Um, Goa also hosts um, many um, natural museums like Old Rocks, which are millions of uh, years old. So it's, it's really, really, uh, the, the wildlife is a museum itself. Goa is, I think apart from um, the Amazonian uh, jungle, this is the most, second most biodiverse place in the world, which is, nobody knows that. We only talk about beaches, but, uh, and, and um, uh, various other so-called unwanted things. But uh, this is Goa, so this is where uh, people should come. People sh should get exposed to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the villages, and uh, there is there is a there is a treasure trove. There is a hidden um, gem lying in, in, in these areas. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you see something happening right now? Now we are in the monsoons. Normally, we go into the hills to see the water cascading over the hillocks and what we call as waterfalls. But right now, what I saw from Mr. Chatterjee is a cascade of passion coming for the amazing museums and the natural resources that we have here in Goa. Only a few connoisseurs of Goa 
have got an eye like him to come see and appreciate Goa. Thank you very much, Mr. Well, Chatterjee. You I have. Also, thank you. I mean, I am a big fan of uh, your program. Thank That's you. of uh, learning for me too. And, thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Please, please do promote uh, these um, uh, these areas. Uh, That's Goa. Yeah. Thank you. Please. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have had some amazing words from Mr. Chatterjee. So he is a busy man. Let's leave him for seeing the museum and to proceed for your job. Thank you so much, Mr. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you very much. Yeah. We will turn our attention to Thomas Bob, where he is going to explain to us the first gallery. So uh, the smartphone feature is the phone, first of all. And we have the, all the evolution of these phones, starting from this one. This is called a dictograph phone. It's from 1940s, okay, and this got no dialing, it's got no dialing tone, but it got a read over here, it's like the most code, and makes a contact and it dials one. And this used to be in the postmaster's uh, office, and he used to give us, uh, those days nobody had phones in the houses, but he had this main phone, and they used to send us to the cabin, and these are the intercoms, like you can connect and you, he will tell you, okay, go to that cabin and talk to the, your party. So this is the earliest phone, then we have all the different types of phones. This is the latest one which I have, which is brought, it's from Russia. This was used in the World War II era and it got a generator, there's no wires, no batteries are required. It got a generator in, built in inside, you turn it and then you call the bunker. SOS, SOS used to be sent to these ones. Is this a wireless? It's a wireless one, it's a Russian one and it was used in the war. Uh, from bunker to bunker, yes. communication. And uh. before the phone, the mobile phone came, this was very close to it. This had uh, these buttons and all, and it had intercom and it had a speaker. Then our mobile came into existence. Exactly. So ladies and gentlemen, I am going to send a message to you. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Come to Satame Museum. I am sending this message to you from a bottle phone. Yeah, yeah, I can hear all of you all that you want to come, but please do, you are invited. And see this phone over here. Bottle phone. This is a, a walking stick. It is a very rare one. These are used, used, these were used by the Vatkas in Goa. And this doubles up as a stool. What you have to do is just open this one and you can just put it in the ground like this and you can see it. So those days the Vatkas, when they were harvesting the coconuts, they used to sit on this one and they used to count the coconuts. And one lady used to throw the coconuts, you know, two coconuts at a time. This is lab, don and the Vatkar or his uh, mukadam is to make a fold on the coconut leaf every for every hundred. In those days there were no counters. And like that we have another two of this here. These are very cozy ones with a leather uh, with a leather seat. So this is very cozy. It does not pain your buttocks. So if you are carrying a walking stick, look at this option. You feel tired, poke it into the ground, open it up, and tashrif rakiye. You know what it means. So let's proceed to the next section. You have now seen one part of the smartphone, that is the phone. Here we have another feature of the smartphone, which is called the calculations, calculus. And we are having the first phone invented by Comptometer Dorfer, which is this one here. This is one from 1939, one is from 1950s, and it got 134 buttons. They were the pioneers in calculators. I had one guest from UK, and he was telling me these calculators are still used in horse betting. Then we have another calculator here, which is made in India. This one over here, facet. 
And we have another one here, Russian, same one, it's a Russian one. And it also works in the same way. We come to your solar one, electrical one, and then the scientific calculator. This is a slide rule where you had to do the trigonometry and then calculations. We have now seen the calculation. Now let us see the key thing that is typing. Here we have uh, the typing software. Basically, whatever we send SMS and all uh, on the mobile smartphone, it is a Microsoft Word. And Microsoft Word was copied from these typewriters, basically. And here we have one Imperial 58. It's a very old one from 1941, World War II era. And the Microsoft Word was copied from these typewriters. This is my latest edition. And this typewriter let us go like this. Like a clock. clock. Huh? I have one Microsoft Word here and this one Excel sheet. This is brother typewriter. And after that the brother came with an electronic typewriter which is over there. And before, this is an IBM one and it's got a roller inside. Now, after this one, it went into your PC. So now what we will do is from these keys, from the talking part, from the typing part, let us go to another section, which shows you another facet on your mobile. When we finish the typewriters, the keys, the next feature brings us to sound, music. So here we are in a section which is audio. Let's find out more from Thomas Bob. So Thomas Bob, what are you going to tell us about this? Here uh, the smartphone feature is you have music in the mobile. Today you can record up to TVs of music and save it in your mobile and play non-stop. But those days, if you go back to 1877, 1899, when the first record player was introduced in the market by Thomas Edison. Incidentally, I am also Thomas. Thomas Edison introduced the, his master's voice, gramophone, and the record was only three minutes. And to hear the three minutes of music, you had to wind it up, and you had this extra baggage. And later on, the music was recorded on a vinyl disc. After this, introduce a bigger one. The uniqueness of this museum is that you are very close to the artifacts. You can even touch them. The music from the Renal list was then recorded in a spool player. If you see here, this spool player is by Akai F355 and it's a big huge one. It was about 28.5 kg. It was so heavy, it, the person I bought from him, he had a stroke. Had stroke. Okay. Now, there was, within one year, they introduced another model, which is the same. Everything is there, feature is same, the shape is same, the size is same. Weight also small. Because here, minutes of music. From 35 minutes, it went to 360 minutes of music. So, there was a big jump on recording of the music. Then came our cassette player. The music was recorded on a cassette. Even today it is used by the doctors and the reporters uh, for interviews. I have a very rare uh, rare one here, which is 4 in 1. It's got incomplete TV also in there. TV, radio, cassette player. Here we have another rare one. This is a radio by Bush. And it is incorporated to the record player, Gerard. Here you could put three records and it's like a jukebox. After one record gets over, it will drop in and the another record will come. So, Thomas Bob, one more feature that I see here in this section, which is there on the smartphone, is telling the time. Yes. And I see a lot of these watches behind that. So this is 
this is a very rare uh, this one is a girly by german those day german german clock girly used to be the best of the clocks and it was precise we have the one with just one winding so uh, it is just time then we have two windings then you have time and the chime but here this is a very rare one we have every every quarter you will get a chime if i turn like this here is three quarter you get a beautiful chime you can you want when you are sleeping it it's a melodious kind melodious kind and every quarter it goes then if you go back to your hourly chime very rare collection here now if you see this one this clock was used in the madras railway station that one was used in the Col calcutta railway station those days they had to climb the stairs and wind it every week every 7 days some weather for 15 days and even if it is going behind falling behind and they had to do it but today they do it in from the control room it is digital yeah. now this one is called a regulator it is actually basically it is in the clock uh, world it is called a grandfather's clock on the wall there is generally clock for the uh, grandfather clock which is on the floor but it's on the wall it is from 1906 uh, from new years now this is also we call a grandmother's clock because the grandmother on the dressing table she had her all her mascara makeup and all and also one clock was there for her to do her routines another clock here which is called a attendance part card punching used for time keeping time keeping it's an industrial time keeper now my father was a watch maker his arthur de costa and i have some of the tools which he used to do he used, he used to repair the old rolex omega watches and he had a shop in margaon and the people used to trust him because this what is best studied with diamonds and gold and also he was the only person who days to come okay i have one here which is called the big ben we have a big ben in uk as a big ben which is a in the center of the town people when the big ben ben was introduced this was became a fad so they were all all you were like going for big ben and then the clocks became smaller smaller still smaller still smaller and then it went in the pocket before it went in the case and then it went in the pocket 